There's a difference between the best players in the world and good players in the world. Now, if we don't go to the Olympic Games, it's still going to be a wonderful Olympics and it's still going to be exciting hockey. And the fans, I think, will really enjoy watching uh, the best younger players in the world play, so to speak. But there's a different level. If, if we can send the best players in the game, it's always much better for everyone. Under vinter-OS i Pyeongchang 2018 spelades hockeyturneringen utan NHL-proffs för första gången sedan 1994. Anledningen var att NHL inte ville göra uppehåll i säsongen och därför nåddes aldrig något avtal om att släppa spelare till OS-turneringen. Wayne Gretzky var med i Kanadas lag vid OS i Nagano 1998. Han är numera ambassadör för ett nytt Kina-baserat KL-lag och med nästa vinter-OS i Peking 2022 hoppas han att parterna kan komma överens. Well, listen, I've, I've, um... Made no secret uh, about my feelings on the Olympics. I, I think they're wonderful. I was lucky enough. I got to play in 1998, um, and we've been in the Winter Olympics all, up until the last ones in in uh, South Korea. I I, <clears throat> I really think that it, it's a real special stage. Uh, I think there's something really unique and special about playing for your country, and there's nothing bigger than to play for your country in the Olympic Games. So. You know, with the Winter Olympics being here in China, it would be so uh, wonderful uh, for our sport worldwide and for the people of China to see the best players in the world on, on center stage. So I'm, I'm hoping that the uh, Players Association and the league can somehow figure this out and understand that this is a great thing for our game, that we should be in the Winter Olympics.